Along the Pacific Islands of American Samoa lies Tutuila, the largest of seven U.S. territory islands surrounded by volcanic peaks, coral reefs, lush rainforests, and home of the beautiful many-colored fruit dove. The many-colored fruit dove, or better known natively as the Manu Ma, is best recognized by its vast array of bold, vibrant colors of yellows, greens, and crimson. The depletion of essential resources have threatened the population and survival of this bird in its natural habitat. Luckily, the conservation experts of Pacific Bird Conservation, Honolulu Zoo, and the Toledo Zoo are here to help. Well, one of the things that uh, Pacific Bird Conservation really tries to do is capitalize on the resource and the expertise of zoos and utilize those resources to assist uh, Pacific Islands in the conservation of their wildlife. These birds are intimately in, uh, connected to two basic ficus trees, which have very small uh, fruits. Most of those trees have been cut down in the lowlands. And without those trees, their populations are not going to thrive. Only associated with the ficus obliqua, this one particular tree. Well, I think the history of this tree was that it just started growing. And we noticed it, that we started putting uh, lava rocks around it to protect it from the lawnmowers. And as it got bigger, we kept building it, protecting it, and let it grow. The uh, seeds from this tree are very popular with, with the local birds. My favorite bird is the uh, Manama, and that's the uh, local pigeon. It's multicolored, and it's just beautiful. We've gone ahead and done a number of training programs. Obviously, we brought birds into captivity, so these birds had to be tube fed and managed an intensive care program. We also have a number of techniques for trapping birds with certain poles, high nets. Uh, we've provided that opportunity. Because of the techniques that we've provided, they're now able to trap in most of the conditions that they've got here. I think one of the things that uh, astonished us here when we start talking to the local community about the Monoma is how little many of the people knew about the bird. Most of them didn't know that it was here. They didn't know the history of their culture and the significance of the species. And when we would show them pictures of it, they would be amazed. So we're looking at how we could best utilize the resources of zoos to initiate conservation measures out here that'll be beneficial to the populations that are in this region. We've got a lot of zoos that are supporting us. Toledo Zoo is taking the lead on the uh, Monoma project, and so they will be managing the captive population. We've got uh, four pairs of birds that are gonna go to Toledo. Chuck Servini is the curator and will be overseeing that. Hopefully with success, we'll be allowed to continue doing work out here. The next step for the Manuma that we collected in American Samoa is a captive breeding program with the long-term goal of a successful and productive breeding population. All of the birds that are going to the states will be owned by the government of American Samoa. In the event that birds ever need to be reintroduced, there is the possibility that the population in zoos can serve as an assurance population for their wild counterparts. Populations like this are managed in very specific ways in zoos. The genetics are managed to maximize and optimize the genetic pool that exists within a population. Zoos have to be really careful about observations. Trial and error is also key. It's important for people outside of where we are to see this bird, to develop education programs so more people can learn about the animal. The immediate goal at Toledo is to keep the birds healthy. There's a lot of opportunity for just even observing the birds, learning about their behavior, what their food preferences are, what types of captive diets do they do best on. Once we're at that point and we're confident that we can keep and maintain these birds in a captive setting, in a captive environment, the next step becomes introducing birds for breeding. And then our opportunity for learning about the species expands because we will be learning different things like nest site preference, egg laying and incubation, courtship between the male and female, all things that we can learn about and will help us understand the biology of the Manu Ma. When you come to the Toledo Zoo and Aquarium, you're helping support the Manu Ma Conservation Program. Admissions, concessions, and merchandise all contribute to the efforts being made to maintain the population of this special bird.
the unique fabric of life in the Samoan Islands.